This video describes how to put on EgoSam briefs in a lying position. Make sure you have chosen the right size and that the absorbency is suitable for your incontinence level. Carefully open the pad with the marking facing outwards and the side panel on the side. Do not touch the inner breathable part. Fold the pad in half lengthways along the blue marking into a ball shape and twist it gently in both directions so that the inner leakage barriers rise up. This operation makes it possible to decompress the cellulose pulp, allowing the entry of air and thus bringing the absorption power and speed to the highest possible level. If necessary, put a rolled up towel between the knees Take the product and keep the breathable part closed. Keeping the pad folded, slide it between the legs from the front towards the back, ensuring that it fits snugly into the groin area. Take the far ends of the product and cover the bottom properly. The blue marking on the outer side is the wetness indicator. At this point, it should be parallel to the perineum. When the pad is soaked, the marking fades away. Stretch out the right and left hand side tapes located on the back. In that way, it will be easier to wrap the brief around the user. Place the outer edges of the product over the abdomen, making sure that the leg cuffs fit snugly into the groin area. Readjust the front panel too, pulling it towards the back. At this point, the blue marking should be vertical to the navel. Check that it has been positioned correctly and that the elasticated edges fit snugly to the inside of the thighs. When removing the pad, refasten the tapes well. If necessary, help the user to turn onto his side, ensuring no damage is caused to the skin. Remove the product from the front towards the back, rolling it up and closing it. This video describes how to put on EgoSam briefs in a standing position. Make sure you have chosen the right size and that the absorbency is suitable for your incontinence level. Carefully open the pad with the marking facing outwards and the side panel on the side. Do not touch the breathable inner part. Fold the pad in half lengthways along the blue marking into a bowl shape and gently twist it in both directions so that the leg cuffs rise up into place. This operation makes it possible to decompress the cellulose pulp, allowing the entry of air and thus bringing the absorption power and speed to the highest possible level. Keeping the pad folded, slide it in between the legs from the front towards the back, making sure that it is correctly positioned. The blue marking on the outer side is the wetness indicator, which should be parallel to the perineum at this point. When the pad is soaked, the marking fades away. Put the device into place at the back, positioning the outer edges over the abdomen, thus covering the hips. Check that it fits snugly into the groin area without being too tight. When removing the pad, refasten the tapes, ensuring no damage is caused to the skin. Remove the product from the front towards the back, rolling it up and closing it. 